Oh, I wonder how Sumizi would fare at a Miss World pageant, uh, displaying the very best that South African design has to offer. Well, this is the deal. Of course, Ntando Kunene is headed off to the US to represent South Africa at Miss World. Gave us a sneak peek of the dress that she'll be wearing. Such a proud history there. And from what we can read on social media, People aren't that happy. People aren't happy. So part of the, the Miss World pageant, it has a traditional outfit or a traditional showcase. So each lady wears a traditional gown from their country. And we thought before we show you what Ntando Yankosi wore, um, well, what she's going to be wearing, we'll take a look back at what some of the previous Miss South Africas have been wearing and how the dress or the sense of traditional wear has changed. So we start off with Miss SA 2010, Bokang Monjane. Now she wore a turquoise dress with B across um, she even had bare she was barefoot and it, it all went part of the the look for the gown so that's but what very she traditional wore. Very, very traditional very traditional yeah. yes not, not, not exactly high fashion yeah yeah and then next up we have our former Miss World Roline Strauss who in 2014 she had a quite a different look than a Bokang four years earlier she wore a headpiece and an image of Nelson Mandela as part of her skirt that made up the of hexagons representing different elements of the country. So that was her take on a traditional gown. Yeah, I, I, I get where it's coming from, but it kind of feels like, okay, we've got this many cultures or these many cultures to represent. Let's try and cram them all into one dress. Kind of almost two sides of the, the same coin there, you won't two be, extremes. Yeah, you won't be able to please everyone. Now, we fast forward another year and Miss S.A. Liesl Lowry, she wore a dress that was way more subtle and, you know, to than some of the ladies before her, but it was inspired by an African goddess and the dress was probably one of the most expensive ones and it had elements of gold and copper in the dress. So, completely different. Very, you can see how it made her feel as well. That's a power dress and that something. You want to be walking dress. onto a stage against the, you know, the cream of the crop when it comes internationally, um, but I like a kind of a balance of the two. Yes, and then now it obviously brings us to our Time current to reigning <laughs> Miss SA, Ntando Kunene, whose dress was inspired by the rising sun in Mpumalanga, a place where she grew up, and I think it is absolutely stunning. I think it's the best of the lot, to be quite honest. It, it does have a traditional edge to it. I can understand it's high fashion. Um, it is quite avant-garde, but... I mean, this is this is an international stage. It's an international be stage, yeah. and I think it's a great way to represent South Africa, especially because of the meaning behind it. It's the sunrise of Mpumalanga, a place where she grew up. And so. is not that not the most important thing, is that the person wearing it is supposed to feel that? Well, you can let us know how you feel. Um, maybe it's a bridge too far. Maybe they nailed it. How do you feel about Ntando Kunene's dress that she's going to be wearing, representing SA at Miss World 2016?